Welcome to Off-Grid Ireland podcast. In this episode, we'll be speaking to Greg Johnson of Counter Currents. Greg is a nationalist and a, an author. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, it really, really helps. And you can support us with the Buy Us the Coffee in the link below. Thank you so much, folks. Is if they have some, how about, how to put it, traitors to their class. Trump, Trump was a traitor to his class. He was part of the establishment, but he betrayed them on something essential to globalization, something essential to their identity and their agenda. And there are many people in establishments who are uh, elites, members of the elite who are ready, elite who are ready to go rogue. Uh, some of them are idealistic. Some of them are sociopathic. <laughs> some of them are just trying to compete with others, and, and they're going to. Uh, They'll, they'll break those gentlemen's agreements, especially uh, once the way has been shown uh, by, by braver people. And so I think that there is some hope that there will be rogue members of the political establishment there. One of the ways that they'll go rogue, though, is because they sense that the people are against the, the, the system and they, uh, they, they, want to, uh, they want to start pandering to the Irish people again. <laughs> for a change, right? So uh, just keep up the pressure, keep up the, uh, the attempts to change people's consciousness. And even though you've got a pretty tight and cozy political establishment, just like we had in the United States before Trump, there might be a rogue member of that establishment. And it only takes one uh, to, to get a lot of change underway. Yeah, no, I, I'd agree with that. And um, here in Ireland, especially, I've seen the reaction of the media and the government with, say, the protests and the pushback against the, the mass un, unvetted migrants that they've, they've sw- swollen the country with in the last year, specifically. Um, the government's reaction is very heavy-handed. It's lashing out, and some like different guys here, pundits and whatever, they, they'd mock them. Like They're trying to say that 20 social media accounts are all are causing all the ills in Ireland. So they're worried about 20 people's, like, because we can see this from the mainstream news articles that they're writing. You know, far-right influencers are saying this, far-right influencers are saying that, calling fascists, calling... This episode is a little bit too spicy for YouTube. Um, we mentioned some topics that got our account suspended over the last month or two, so I've only put this clip up if you want to see or listen to the full episode, you'll find it on Spotify, Rumble, BitChute, Google, all the different places.